Hey and welcome, this is video number six, Technology Roadblock. Obviously in the previous videos I showed you how the smart one-time offer works, but now you need to implement that right into your own business. Well, I have to say up front that when it comes to technology, that can al always be a roadblock because you don't know what technology to use, you don't know how to set it up, can you set it up manually for free? And, and those are all good questions. But the reality of it all is this the reality is that when it comes to setting it up for free or manually it's not as effective and what ends up happening through this process is no true smart one-time offer can be done manually what ends up happening is when you begin to set things up it ends up becoming and looking like a linear one-time offer now I'm going to show you how frustrating this might be so that you really can see that it really isn't smart to go down this route to get it done manually when it's already been done for you with technology that's really focused on achieving the setup process of a smart one-time offer so basically if you were to set this up you would have to set up a sales page for the front end and a thank you page and then let's say for example you're using PayPal you would have to redirect them to the thank you page which would be the one-time offer number let's say 1A so we have two different routes 1A 1B you send them to 1A and if they say no you know you could offer them a different offer you could offer them 1B if they say yes and they actually purchase it then you basically have to set up so that the thank you page next is the one-time offer number 2a premium if they say no then they are sent elsewhere and if they say yes to one-time offer 1b and, and if this none of this is making sense just hold on a minute you send them to 1b the thank you page directs to to be premium <laughs> so at this point in time you're probably looking at this like I am frustrated I do not know exactly how to do this and this is really what I wanted to show you I wanted to show you and be upfront with you that setting up a smart one-time offer is complicated and not only complicated when it comes to list building if you do it manually there's really no way to get people onto your list automatically what happens is you have to ask for their email address later on and it just gets complicated there's actually a simpler route to go now let's talk about the paid routes now if you're trying to do this on a budget I will show you how to do this on a budget JVZoo can do this but they can't really do pre-sale bumps which I'm going to talk about in video number nine and another site another online shopping cart is called Zaxa Zaxa allows you to set up smart one-time offers and also pre-sell or profit checkout bumps which I'm going to show you in video number nine now while testing the two JVZoo and Zaxa I have to lean towards Zaxa and say that Zaxa is a lot easier in my opinion to set up now JVZoo is really really powerful really good as well so it has a lot of benefits as well so you really have to pick and choose and see what is good for you but in my opinion through testing this over and over again I found that when it comes to Zaxa they've built it so that you can have different options you can set up linear one-time offers if you want to do so but they've also set it up so that you can set up smart one-time offers as well and it's really really easy to do and I'll show you in just a minute second of all you're going to need get response or Aweber for list building so you need to have some sort of autoresponder service that you can integrate into JVZoo and Zaxa they both integrate into get response and you can they both integrate into all sorts of autoresponder series now with Zaxa is super easy I'm going to show you that in this particular video series I'm going to focus on that because they primarily make it so easy for you to set up 
Now, the benefits and disadvantages, JVZoo does charge you a fee on top of your payment processor fee. So for example, JVZoo, you can start out for free. Zaxa, you can as well. But keep in mind, don't be thrown off. Zaxa does have a monthly and yearly fee for their premium features. But you pay a yearly fee or you pay a monthly fee and they waive all the fees. Now with JVZoo, they have a lot of benefits, but let's say for example that you make a thousand dollars in revenue. You're gonna have to pay PayPal fees plus JVZoo fees, which I believe is about 5% or somewhere around that number. So you're paying 5% plus PayPal fees, which is about 2.9%. So you're essentially paying about seven point something percent. With Zaxa, if you pay the monthly or yearly fee, they waive all fees, which means you end up only paying the payment processor fee. So as you grow as a company, like let's say for example, within the whole year you've made, first year you've made, let's let's put a low number like 10,000. 10,000 times 7.9% is what you would have to pay out in fees if you want the route with JVZoo. If you went with Zaxa, you would only pay the yearly fee and plus the PayPal fee. They would not charge you any fees. And that's personally what I've liked about Zaxa. And then they're very, very powerful. They're always adding features and stuff like that. Now, with that said, you can make your own decision. I wanted to offer that so you can make your own decision, go out there and take action. So in this particular video series, I'm going to focus on Zaxa. So I'm going to head on over there now and I'm going to show you how to set up the smart one time offers. It's super easy to do. And it's only going to take you about five, 10 minutes. All right.